Hello my lovely friends, this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine here and today I have a pleasure to take part in a block hop with lovely creators from crafting together with all brands. As you notice on the thumbnail, today's video theme is a night sky. I have this packaging of the table scar which I've bought in a supermarket many many years ago and I haven't been even opening up yet. So uh, when I was looking on what to use for my today's card, I thought why not try to uh, create something to incorporate some of those stars because uh, I thought uh, I wanted to create this lovely uh, night sky but also to be very shiny very like you know uh, bright and uh, not necessarily too much dark uh, however uh, what I'm gonna be starting from I will color my paper I've grabbed myself a couple of the inks this is a variation of different uh, distress inks. There's like a chipped sapphire, there's like faded jeans, a black shoot, pumice stone. So I took all the uh, navy purple, very dark purple color tone and a little bit of the black as well. And as you can see, I'm just smearing them directly from the uh, little ink pads. And then I use a piece of the kitchen sponge just to mix them up a little bit. I find this melt uh, to give me a way better coverage uh, there's like a lot more saturation in a color than if i would do it with the fi uh, finger dabbers or like um blending tools uh, the only one thing it downsizes is that your fingers will be probably very messy uh, once i finish adding the ink to my background i did a couple of the splatters with the water I am splattering water on my hands first and then I am allowing those large droplets to uh, drop uh, directly on the paper uh, because the mist I have, it's very, very little, sp very spray mist. So uh, I wanted to have a little bit more dramatic look. And now I've decided to reach for a couple of the spray inks and i do have this aladine easing spray which are very very shiny this is something i was needing for this card and oh my world this make the whole change like once i spray uh, like i use the brush and i sprinkle this ink onto the paper uh, uh, firstly it start reacting with the distress ink so it's give even more like a splotchy look and then all this shine you can see here this is just absolutely Absolutely amazing. I really, really recommend you. This is a purple color. I'm not sure if that one is still available at the craft stash, but I will check. This is where I got it from. And then I'm using the white calligraphy ink for my white splatters. I do find that the calligraphy ink, uh, they are staying a little bit brighter uh, once they dry in comparison to the uh, splatters, like white splashes made with the with the gesso. So that's why I like to use it. I am cleaning my brush in between and then I'm reaching for this like a gold brass color uh, ink, which I had from the uh, from the distress range as well and then uh, last but not least uh, for my card I will also use another easing aladdin spray but this time uh, this will be in the yellow color tone because I thought like if you're looking on a on the sky there are some um, stars some of them are a little bit brighter the other one have a little bit like a yellowish undertone so this is something what I wanted to achieve I want to have the mixture of different shiny elements so uh, they all will create this sort of a look like dimensional look uh, so here i am placing my paper on the card base this is a ready-made six by six card base but i've decided i want to have a little bit shine all around so i am reaching for the gold mirror cardstock and i'm cutting myself a little mat i don't have the exact measurement because I just eyeball it but the card is six by six inches and the papers are slightly smaller uh, whenever I need to create something with this super thin uh, frame all around I rather stick to the 
you know marking myself the line with the pencil and uh, then just go with the with the measurements i find this uh, working really well and it allows me to create this really really thin line uh, for my mats and layers now i am adhering my paper with the help of the double-sided tape and i'm just going all over four sides just to have this nice straight uh, straightly adhere edge especially whenever you work with the moisture your paper could get a little bit wrap up so uh, that's why i like to use this uh, double-sided tape because it will allow me to have this perfectly glue straight edges uh, i do add uh, a little dash of the liquid glue to my corners so that gives me a little bit of the wiggle room but once i'm happy with the placement i am pressing with the hand and take off the releasing paper from the side and and here I will do exactly the same thing with my uh, with my uh, matte layer together. Uh, first, I adhere this background paper to the silver card, and now I am adhering it to the card base directly. So you can see uh, four strips of the double-sided tape, a little bit of the glue on the edges, and then I can perfectly position my my card. So. Um, that uh, that give me that a little bit you know area so i could move my paper around until i'm happy uh, with the placement okay and once i have it done i have those chipboard quotes these are coming from the craft o'clock company and i've decided to incorporate these because the uh, sentiment is perfectly matching with the theme of the night sky and this sentiment on the card it says um, there is uh, one uh, there is one very warm day in December uh, when the first stars shine in the sky. So I want to make that shiny uh, sky theme for my card. And this is also could serve as a Christmas card because uh, it's a nice quote to to give dependingly like on the on the wishes you could stamp then Merry Christmas inside. And that will be lovely Christmas card to give to someone as well. I have this twisted nylon cord, uh, which gave me a little bit hard time to try to make it uh, to a circle because uh, uh, this is the end of the roll i have so the cord was really really twisted uh, but luckily i've managed to loop it and now i am just creating some sort of the red uh, just something to frame my focal point i thought it will be a nice uh, thing uh, to add it will give me that texture for my card but will also uh, give some more interest and this way i could follow the pattern of the of the string to adhere all my little bits which i'm gonna be uh, adding in a second so i'm opening up the packaging there is a mixture of the gold and silver uh, stars but i've decided to stick to the silver only i thought the gold one will be too much shouting uh, i've got lots of the shiny splatters but they all kind of go more with the cool tones of the silver color so that's why i've decided to stick to it so i'm picking up uh, there's uh, i really really like that there is a variation of the sizes here there's some of them are smaller some of them are larger and i don't do the regular shape i just just go like kind of a, um, I would say organized chaos here. So they are kind of a follow the pattern, but they are a little bit odd. Uh, so that gives the nice interest as well. And here I am also adhering the um, this chipboard quotes. Uh, everything I'm just adding with the hot glue. Uh, so that gives me this quick uh, fix to my card, and I could decide, you know, where to place another one if I needed more and once I have my stars done I was thinking like hmm maybe I'll try to add some more extra elements like I was looking on my Nuvo drops uh, and uh, I found two which I think will go well with the team first one is this dream uh, drops which is a fairy wing so it's very very shiny it's not super white it's more kind of a off 
pearl color tone but i like it because it's really really shiny and then once i finish with that one I've, i'm putting a couple of real irregular dots here and there uh, just a little bit and then once i'm done with it i am adding a couple of the white one as well uh, as i've mentioned in the beginning i just want to uh, resemble this nice night sky and have different level of the depth and uh, different like shininess to to the star elements so some of them appear a little bit brighter some of them uh, looks like they would be like farther down because they are smaller and they less uh, you know shiny now i also found a couple of the pearly stars uh, this is something i had many many years ago as well that kind of embellishment it's like a flat pearl uh, little one but they are joined in a star shape and then i also grab a couple of the flat back pearls in a silver color so i'm gonna be adding these uh, same following my kind of like a wreath style but i'm not trying to make everything look in regular i am just more of a, trying to achieve this loose uh, look uh, here so uh, once i'm adding the the stars then i am just adding the silver uh, bits and first i add those teeny tiny pearls like i think they are around two millimeter size and i couldn't find my <laughs> pick tool so i was trying to do it with my fingernails like you know uh, press each one on the paper with the paper but they were keep turning upside down uh, but uh, somehow I've managed to do that and <laughs> it's gonna be uh, quite funny because the second I finish uh, you know recording the video and I was putting my uh, you know tools aside I was like oh here the, here it is so it was right beside me but uh, I was trying to you know make the job with the uh, with my hands uh, which work it as well but it's so much easier especially for teeny tiny elements like that when you have some sort of the picking tool or you can use that like um crayons which is like a, a nail artist use uh, this is like a, a looks like a regular pencil and you just sharp it but the core of the pencils got a, a little bit sticky uh, stickiness to it so every time you sharpen it up a little bit you can pick up some uh, some gel jewels and really really teeny tiny bits as well i like that one uh, this is the tool i'm using most often whenever i need to deal with such a small uh, little little elements like that uh, but once i i finish i'm quite happy how this card turned out i'll just show you in a second and a couple of the close-up photos so thank you so much everyone who just joined me for today's video down below there's all other videos for other members who taken a part in the blog hope and i'm encouraging you to check Check their lovely creation too. Stay blessed my friends and I am wishing you all a fabulous week. Bye bye!